In this video, we are going to discuss how to complete a Springer foot on a dog. As you can see, we are starting with clipping the nails. The shears that you need when completing a Springer foot are straight, thinning, and curved. Dogs that require this type of cut have hair that overgrow their paw pads. This could result in them tracking in more dirt and slipping on hardwood floors. In this step, straight shears are taken to remove that excess hair. The scissors are held parallel to the dog's paw pad. At no point should the scissors be stuck into the dog's paw pad as this could result in injury. Please use your fingers after you've made your initial cuts to get the hairs that you have left behind. In this next step, we are trimming the hairs to grow in between the toes of the animal. We use our fingers to stand these hairs up and our thinning shears. With your thinning shears held parallel to the hair that you have stood up, you are to make quick snapping motions to trim and blend the hair so that it matches the length of the hair on the rest of the top of the foot. Be sure to use your fingers to stand the hairs back up to see any that you have missed. In the last step for the actual foot, we use curved shears to go around the foot to make a nice tidy outline. Please keep the base of your curved shears on the table so that you are not making choppy cuts up high. Many of the dogs that require springer feet will require their leg featherings to be cut as well. First, we are to brush these out. As you can see, this is being done on a foreleg in this example. The goal when trimming front leg feathering is to give it a nice curved, trimmed, tidy appearance. You can first accomplish this by using your curved shears to remove any of the longer hairs and use your fingers to stand any that you are missing back up. This should be a nice, clean, tidy, and curved appearance. After you have made your cuts, you can go back with thinning shears to blend any of the more choppy areas that you have left behind. You can also start with thinning shears if you are less confident with your shears. On the palmer aspect of the dog's lower forelimb is a carpal pad. Please trim below this pad nice and tidy to match the top of the foot length. Please take extra care to not cut this pad accidentally. Dogs that require springer feet often have feathering on their hind legs as well. It is our job to trim up the hock to make sure that the dogs have this hair trimmed. Here we can use thinning shears or straight shears or a combination of both to make it trim and tidy. These dogs typically have very hairy hind ends as well. Sometimes in class we refer to this as trimming the dog's pants. Here we take thinning shears and we trim and blend to give a shortened, clean, rounded appearance. In this finished product, you can see that we took a dog that had quite a bit of hair and trimmed and made everything look nice, clean, and tidy. Breeds that will often require this are Australian Shepherds, Spaniels, and Golden Retrievers.